But as you can see from that video, our son Isaac has been working really hard to get a lot of things put together and built in the greenhouse and done for his FFA, Future Farmers of America SAE grant. And uh, he's done a great job with that and really along with the help of the whole family. I think everybody has been out here at various points helping to either work on, finish the greenhouse or help get things set for him, for his project. So Isaac did get tables built for at least one side of the greenhouse. And he also reclaimed or used some of the wire from uh, that previous owners had used in greenhouse tables. Those tables were in really bad shape and rotted. He pulled all the fencing off of it, salvaged it, put it back on these. And like I said, with the help of his siblings, they got composted manure into all of the pots and planted, well, a thousand pots uh, for his project to sell vegetable starts. And so uh, I'll talk to Isaac about that at some point here. Uh, but the other thing that uh, happened is, again, now almost weekly, is that we get rain and lots of it. So you can see we had a, an impending wall of thunderstorms coming at us yesterday, which sadly uh, really devastated some areas of the country and even in Western North Carolina, uh, someone lost their life because of it. So we pray for everyone out there, especially for all the utility workers, power company workers that are gonna be working to restore power. But uh, anyways, it came and so we had to really work to get in a at least attempt to grade around the greenhouse. So this is one of the problems that we've got is that this large area, as we've said in videos before, was uh, previous, previous, previous owners rode horses up here. So they graded it, it's red clay with several inches of sand on top of it. So when it rains, uh, just one of those things that you don't pay attention to when you don't have a greenhouse, is that water tends to pond up here and certainly it has been ponding or was ponding in the greenhouse so we worked really hard for a couple of days digging around and trying to regrade around the greenhouse which we can show you both with the tractor and with shovels and a huge amount of credit to our kids they worked for at least I think about five hours, maybe six hours yesterday, digging what you can see right here is the beginnings of a French drain system that we're gonna have to put in. And it was hard work because some of this stuff is really, really hard packed. So they worked really, really hard. I wasn't able to be here. I was had to be away from the farm all day yesterday. Came back last night and jumped in and tried to get this finished. But truthfully, we ran out of time and we didn't get the grade just right. The plan here will be that we have a lot of extra four inch perforated pipe that we cut off from the earth battery. So we are going to put in a French drain. It'll be really uh, a really easy system too, because with the extra greenhouse plastic that comes down and then the boards down at the bottom, it'll be easy enough for us to tack up about three feet of plastic with a slope away from the greenhouse, go up under the greenhouse plastic, have it go down and then into a French drain uh, trench that will daylight on the hill over here into the field. All the rain that comes off the greenhouse or any other rain that comes will go into there and then quickly move away from the greenhouse. But you can see water ponding up back down there uh, by the end of the greenhouse. That was raised up and flooded into the greenhouse. And that does mean that water worked its way down into the earth battery system and those pipes down there. Now, it's not the first time that that has happened. I mean, it happened when we didn't have plastic up, of course. So that's a pretty simple fix that we can show you. This is the system that we use to pump the water out of the earth battery pipe. So pretty simple. This is a, just a battery 12, 12 volt um, sure flow pump 55 psi pumps three gallons of minute of water so we've got this we just took it to a battery charger and then just run a hose down into the bottom and connect 
with a fitting to a regular garden hose and pump it out of here. So if this is ever, um, I, this is not gonna be an issue long-term. We will resolve this with the French drain around the greenhouse. But people have asked, well, what about condensation? What if the battery down at the bottom fills up with water? Well, if it does, uh, this is easy enough to just run a hose down in here and to pull that water out. Really don't think we're gonna have to do this. I mean, we have run the, the earth battery for enough, uh, well, for well over a week. And with the condensation, there's been no issue. I mean, they're not, it's not gonna fill up with water with the condensation. We'll say the one really exciting good news is, is that uh, there were tornadoes in Western North Carolina and just north of us, they had a tornado warning and really, really high winds uh, last night. And they were sustained high winds. So obviously we were a bit worried, you know, are we gonna wake up in the morning and still have a greenhouse? Well, we were pretty excited to see it held. Uh, so those, uh, the wiggle wire, spring lock bases, everything on here, it held and uh, is in great shape. No, no issues with the greenhouse anywhere. The fan for inflating the greenhouse gonna, is gonna arrive tomorrow. But uh, thank you to all the people that left suggestions, comments in the last video. Uh, we did end up going with a three inch dryer vent. So we get 20 feet of three inch dryer vent for $13, which will more than cover all of the jumps that we have to make in here. So we're gonna do that right now and have it ready so that when the fan comes tomorrow, we can go ahead and hook it up. So in next week's video, we'll be able to show you that whole system and inflating the greenhouse. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get those in and put the fan up tomorrow. And while I'm doing that, Isaac's gonna be putting the other doorknob in. He's become kind of an expert at installing these. cool it's really exciting there's a ton of different plants so yeah we'll try and really cool. upload pictures here of some of the varieties really fast that he's got but some pretty exotic things yeah. from like wild boar farms the tomatoes the crazy tomatoes great job as mostly on all of your hard work building not only the the tables underneath here and all of the other work that has gone into getting this thing up and running along with everybody else but uh, to getting your project to this point so congratulations on that we'll uh, we'll do another thing with you just on your SAE at some point especially once we start getting some germination so congratulations thank you well that's gonna be it for this video not as exciting as building the greenhouse or getting the film on or some of the other things we've done in past weeks, but did get, uh, well, it took a long time to get, you know, dirt in all these pots and to get the seeds in here and really the whole family working on this project. Pretty excited. Getting ready for an open house that we're going to do here on our farm on May 12th. So our St. Isidore's farm named after St. Isidore, the farmer, uh, who's feast day is celebrated on May 15th. So that's the Saturday closest to his feast day. So we're going to do an open house here at the farm and that's where we're hoping to have people come in and have a plant sale for really anybody in the area or family, friends, uh, people that people that know us, people that need to come and want to get some cool heirloom vegetable plants and also to support uh, a kid uh, in his FFA project. All right, well, that's going to have to be it for this video. Uh, for this week. I hope everybody had a great week last week and uh, a wonderful week ahead. We are going to keep plugging away to the extent that we can. As I said, we got that open house coming, so we got to do a lot of different things on the farm to get ready for that. But we're going to continue doing some work out here, and of course, we'll bring you along, especially once the plants start coming up. So, Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks everybody who's watched this whole series uh, and new subscribers that are following along. And we're trying to continue uploading a video every week 
like to try and do that on Mondays. Sometimes it gets pushed back to Tuesday. And yesterday, I had no time to work on a video. So uh, this one will go up tomorrow. And uh, until the next video from here at St. Edward's Farm, take care and God bless.